All right, guys, we're live. Weekly Whirl Thursday. Three. Yeah, the third Weekly yep. Whirl. So, we got a lot accomplished this week. It's been a, a bit of a hectic week. We've been soaking wet and had cleaning yeah. solution on us and coolant on us. We were draining and filling and cleaning the CNC machines. We did them both this week, so yep. Yep. Monday. Yep. Yep. Yeah. They're both full of coolant and ready to go. Ready to rock and roll. We just have to get the tramp oil filtration set up on the second machine. We don't have the magnet holder for that one, so we've got to probably drill into the back of it, unfortunately, and put bolts in. Uh, we'll, we'll rig something up and have that one working. We have a slight problem with the uh, servo cooling fan on this spindle. It's in maximum right now, so we're going to see if we can get that working with the thermal uh, on machine number two. On machine number two, yeah. The thermal switch is in there. It might be just not working or whatever. We have to do a little investigation there. But everything else is working. So, yeah, crazy. This week yeah. has been rush, rush, rush. And it's a short weekend because it's Easter. So, Good Friday tomorrow. We're going to take the day to relax and be off. We got a lot of shop cleanup done. Got some new tool cabinets. Um, uh, took some uh, recyclables out to the uh, recycling, uh, added some new stuff, so uh, we'll go and show you here. Yeah, we'll take you for a little tour. You can. So, one of the first things that you might notice is my uncle and Josh added the conduits for the two vertical mills here. We're starting to, we just added some conduit for um, a little bit of 120 volt that's going to run up some through here some through here and then that'll come down into these boxes so both of these boxes are going to be powered with um, four outlets for 120 volts because of lights um, because of the the glass meters there to uh, get the readout digital readout DRO and the power X so all of those are low voltage 110 on both machines so Back here we're going to have four outlets for 110 and then we're going to probably come out of the bottom or the side for the three phase coming up to the machine. So I'm going to rewire these for 480 volts right now. I have to look. I believe they're wired for 220 so we're going to rewire those for 480 and then these two machines should be ready to go. We still have to go ahead and level all the machines but that can come later. So at any rate, um, Josh, if you want to show, we have a beautiful area here to walk through behind all the machines going up and back in case we need to bring materials or something to repair an item, whatever, keeping things open behind the machines. We've got our air hard lined in. We've got our electric hard lined in. So. The reason this one's out too is because we're going to take again 110 up because both of these machines need 110 for the the uh, oil skimmer the tramp oil skimmer and that will round out everything that needs to be done on these machines from uh get it up get it running get it charged you know there's a few things that we'll have to do yet with leveling the table like i said but um over around in here we have this down right now because we were starting to look at solutions for a rear chip guard. So we're just going to probably to drill two small holes in there and maybe pop rivet um, this material onto the back there so that it just hangs down and kind of crinkles up when it goes down. It'll just, it won't really matter, but it'll keep it'll the chips, keep some off, of the chips all, right. off of the screw and that's really what we want to do there so it doesn't have to be beautiful or perfect it just has to be working so hopefully the guards will be able to do their jobs this machine we have uh, a little bit of water here because we're filling it and spraying but we have to just reattach the guards in the back and I think they're going to go on correctly right Josh or was there something maybe broken no nope, nothing's bottom? wrong with those we cleaned them out we just got to put them up okay so they'll reattach okay and we have to put the cover back on the, the uh, and the carousel. top cover up there too we're working on that fan yeah. there's a fan right on top of that yeah, box that, that, that fan that is set in maximum speed so it's very loud <laughs> um, we got the 
drill press and everything working. I think last week we showed this, but we um, have the drill press light. I did order a new switch here, so this switch doesn't want to turn off sometimes, but it seems to be working okay for right now. So we have our drill press working. We got new um, sanding, belt. sanding belts for our sander back there, so we're gonna make a little room here and move things around, yeah. get this mess consolidated. Now we don't need, heck, we could just do with- Yeah, we can get rid of all of our wiring now, but, right. well, most of it anyways. We could do with one pallet for our electrical supplies right. and consolidate things down. And then we're um, going to work on the bandsaw next. Yep, the bandsaw is going to be next week. We'll get that thing running so that we can start cutting material. And yeah. I checked with the welding supply company. Um, I need to turn in my paperwork to get our big bottles for the welding supply. And once we have them, we can get our welding area up and running. We have everything over there. Let's show the... Uh, things that we didn't show last week. These are welding positioners, and the nice thing about them is when you're welding something vertical, you can be welding your bead as this is slowly turning. So you can go in forward or in reverse as you're welding, and that'll help you. And you know, you can, speeds you too, can right? speed it up right. if you wanted so that you can lay down your bead in a nice, even circular bead. So yeah. that was pretty Very cool. Very nice. And then we have a horizontal positioner over here, same thing. This guy, I don't know if he's turned on right now. Um, it plugged in, yeah. There we yep. go. So that one works too, both forward and reverse. We might have to change the speed Slow on that. Slow it down a little, a little bit, little yeah, bit it's a little fast. fast. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you can weld quite that fast. Anyway, the, the area is starting to clean up because we have some really nice new tool cabinets finally. Now we're gonna get more, but for starters, I bought all that I could get from Lowe's. They didn't have any more of these little guys, so I probably will get two more of the little ones and maybe one more big one <laughs> made in the USA. That's right. Yep. Uh, our welders are fully working, except we need to get our gas bottles. And you guys got the sandblaster working. Oh, yes we did, well. yep. So our sandblaster is working. We need to get some medium. We'll have to put that on our list. Um, probably like the crushed walnut or whatever they use to be eco-friendly. But our sandblaster, oh, we have, oh, the, we have power the power off right now. Yeah. Yep. Because we we're gonna wire in those things. But the sandblaster does work. Yeah, we had to put a uh, junction box in here with a ball valve off of our uh, main hard line so that we could run it down into here and uh, we could use our air on and off. It's a, a used unit, but it'll serve our needs, yeah. at least in the beginning. Got rid it'll of some of the fine. trash that needed to go out and... Yeah, this is our, 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 our junk pile is slowly dwindling down. Like before, we had a ton of stuff over here and we just took it to the uh, recycling yesterday, but other than that, we're good to go. Yeah. Yeah, we're getting there. We are. It's coming. Oh, Josh built a little no. shelf, shelf up there steel. for our long 10-foot pieces. Put them up there, get them out of the way. Yeah, that makes it a lot easier to get them yeah. out from underneath yeah, our table here where we had them. Yep, it's, so. everything is coming together. It's really coming together nice at this point. So next week we're going to be focusing on... How many minutes, buddy? One more minute? All right. We'll focus on getting the rest of the things cleaned up here. Um, we do have a potential investor coming to check out the shop next week if, if his schedule allows. So we'll see how that goes. And um, yeah, it's getting exciting because we're gonna start being able to focus on ordering material and working on our prototype at that point. Anything I didn't think of, guys? No, I oh, think we so got everything so far. Covered. Yeah. yeah. All right, everyone happy Easter. Thank you for following us and believing in what we're doing. Take care.